Hey, what's going on guys? Coming in the year. In this video, I'd like to present an absolutely amazing book called Neural Networks for Chess, written by Dominic Klein not very long time ago, by the way. It's released in 2022, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so, just to give you an idea how cool this book is, and by the way, it's absolutely for free, and quite a fun thing that is available on a GitHub, not on some somewhat a site for downloading the books, I would say. So... You know, like, just to give you an idea how cool this book is, and we'll have a look at the PDF, like, uh, walk through the chapters a little bit. But just just to give an idea uh, how cool it is, again, like, third time in a row telling about this. So, if you think about this entire chess programming channel, um, then, of those who have started from, from the very beginning, you probably know that my original reason for doing this channel was to bring the complicated chess programming topics uh, in the simplest way possible and no matter what tutorials I've been covering, uh, like no matter how complicated or simple the chess engines uh, I've been making on this ch channel were, all of the time I've been emphasizing the simplicity, clarity and I've been sacrificing literally everything for the sake of those clarity and, simpl and simplicity. And with this, uh, with this approach, uh, you won't definitely, you definitely won't write the strongest chess engine in the world, but you will have a solid uh, basis, uh, solid uh, understanding of how the basics act are actually working. And so far, I had several attempts to come to the neural networks in regards to chess, but I've been failing every time because uh, the way how they has been expressed the way how they has been uh, presented uh, the way how they have been like um, explained generally was a really sophisticated way so it's just it's something similar to if you have if you don't have much experience in programming in general and in chess programming in particular and you just go directly and have a look at the stock, uh, at the source code for stockfish you will definitely get overwhelmed and not really understanding anything like what's going on there so you really need to get started with something more simple and hence this channel now what this book does this book does exactly the same but generally for for the neural networks um well the test for this for this book is like if the dumb like me would be able to uh, I finally understand how this works after reading this. That would be like definitely uh, passing the test for for this book. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. Uh, but what 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 I need to say already that I, I've I've been quickly through uh, through the entire book already, and I need to say that so far this is the most didactic materials on neural networks for chess, the most easy, the most clarified, the most simple. Uh, the most beginner friendly I've ever been encountering and also it takes together really a whole lot of knowledge uh, emphasizing um, emphasizing the overall the overall like understanding so somewhere so well it mostly goes uh, when it comes to the implementation mostly goes for TensorFlow and uh, well, with a high-level Keras API uh, for implementing things uh, but but before that, it was actually explaining what exactly uh, is done within the neural networks. So we're 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 just right about into the into the chapter in, into the into the chapter. But what I want to say that this book is the very first step uh, to make uh, neural networks in regards to chess. I mean, like both uh, like uh, Alpha Zero like Alpha Zero like and NNUE types uh, of networks being available for the for the white auditory because so far it was only the be, it was only beneficial for a small part of developers like very like much smarter than i am how i say yes it wasn't really for for all it was just for for the ones not for all now after this book we guys have chance uh to get closer to, the, to it and hopefully well uh i believe at the moment i believe this book so much because yeah like the very initial view actually gives me an idea that would make a whole lot of sense so yeah like the very first step to making the neural networks for chess being available for everyone this is what this book is all about now let's quickly get through the uh, through the chapters uh, i mean through th through uh, through the contents contents basically so it has one two three four parts 
Uh, and the very first part is the introduction to the idea of what the neural networks actually are and how they work. Um, uh, it also, starting from, from the from the singular perceptron, also known as like, uh, linear uh, linear regression rate. So this is just uh, the, uh, the equation for for a straight line. Well, probably yeah, problem. Yeah, this is, this is definitely the equation for uh, equation for us for a straight line. But can I say that the singular perceptron is the same as the linear regression? I'm um, very bad in math, so I'm sorry. I <laughs> can't say that for sure. But anyway. So it comes uh, with a theory that I've been through, uh, not, I don't say I've been through, but I've been encountering a whole lot of times when I was trying to learn about these things. Uh, so yeah, so this this the, the singular perceptron being, being presented here, like explains how the, the weights are multiplied with, with the inputs to, to get the output layer. So the very basics on the networks themselves, but then what, what gives, yeah, the back, the back propagation gradient descent to effectively update the weights, all those things, uh, all those things that TensorFlow does automatically for you. But when you're doing that, when you're applying those like parameters, you can kind of at least understand what you're doing, which is which is beneficial anyway. And then um, it goes for practical stuff. So after this this horrible when I, when I say these formulas, oh my god, just 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 want to close my eyes and never open them again. But anyway. Um, Later on, what, what what is cool? Yeah, it's also it's talking about the, the major thing like um, this machine learning itis, like problems in, ge in general, like classification versus regression. And in chess, uh, well, depending on the type of the network, actually both can be used. So the policy network might be classification, I guess. Not sure, but the NNU is definitely about the regression because we're predicting the values. So here, yes, and finally. Uh, I really love this part, it's like putting it into practice, like didn't understand much about, but anyway, and here, uh, when it just all that whole lot of theories put into a single thing, so here it just creates, it creates a sequential model, which is standard for this sort of attack, uh, tasks, uh, he inputs the input layer with two inputs, um, yeah, I believe, and, and one output layer uh, with the default sigmoid activation function, so, uh, well, if if I understand properly, this should be sort of a linear regression, even though it's kind of in in a way of how this. Okay, I'm sorry, just close the window because of some weird environmental sounds. Uh, so yeah, so this this should be just uh, just a simple linear regression since we have only uh, the only input. Uh, layer and the output layer and the only kind of linear dependencies between those two but it's 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 done using this uh tensorflow uh with a, with a high level keras api to to actually implement this and then the matter of adding the hidden layers is just saying like modal add and then just what like whatever number of layers that you want okay so this uh i mean like this putting into practice parts are extremely are extremely useful. And by the way, all of the code that is available in the book uh, is also available on the GitHub reference. I would have uh, I would have given the links to to both of those. So this chapter two only here is there is the circus code only here and here. All right. So then, um, so after yeah, put it into practice. Uh, Limits of the single pair perceptron. So yeah, what well I even without reading uh, reading about this. Uh, in a book, I can say for myself that uh, the limit, the, the major limitation uh, of the single layer perceptron is the linear dependency between the, between the input and output, and this doesn't doesn't load so, well. Literally, uh, in the Hankerov evaluation function, you have this sort of a single layer perceptron because you have a set of values, like say piece values, like piece square table values, like. Uh, pawn structure evaluations you you may have a whole lot of those but that's they have a very simple dependency and just because of the efficient labdatable neural networks has uh, a non-linear dependencies within the current given position and the uh, and the output score uh, this allows this allow them being more flexible in terms of evaluating certain position and that's that's the reason why their evaluation is being uh, much more accurate as opposed to the linear models so this is one of the major things to consider and so on and so on so all the uh, all the theory that you need to know about 
uh, of the theory that you, you uh, that you actually need to know about the uh, neural networks just to, to and uh, meanwhile uh, master uh, TensorFlow and Keras for the purposes of creating neural networks for chess. So this this is absolutely enough. What, what is what is in here in the crash course on the on the neural networks? Then the second then the second part is about searching because uh, when it comes to creating a chess engine, you you can avoid using search basically. And he, he covers all the basic searches, uh, including the Monte Carlo tree search, which is used in the uh, Lila Chess Zero type engines. Right? Then, um, Modern and I approaches a deep dive. Uh, well, so I didn't walk that good through this, through this guy, so it seems like just an overview for, for existing engines. But it was what is incredibly, I mean, like the best ever introduction to efficiently updatable neural networks in particular can be seen here because uh, I didn't uh, I didn't see any other any more beginner friendly any better um, explanation like for noobs like me like very clear explanations of how exactly uh, when practice those neural networks are built. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't provide the code to to create a, a sample one, but anyway, the explanation itself with the knowledge that has been obtained before, I believe that probably that should be enough for um, actually for kind of creating um, for creating one. I'm not sure, that's just my assumption, but uh, I really think so. I really think so. So we'll see if that is the case. So again, the test for this book, if, if I would ever be capable of creating my, my own uh, efficient lab data will neural network after reading this book, this means that this book is absolutely epic because if even a noob like me does that, then just hats off to Dominic Klein anyway. All right, and finally, uh, a very interesting thing. So for those who like uh, not alpha, beta plus efficiently uh, updatable neural, neural networks, but for those who consider um, like Lila Chess Zero, Lila, Lila Chess Zero type engines, uh, where the neural networks are not only used for evaluation but also for like for to guide the Monte Carlo tree search. That's a proper way of saying this. Uh, here, uh, uh, the author creates um, they call this Hexpon Zero. Uh, so a Lila Chess Zero type engine that is gonna be playing Hexpon. So Hexpon is the game that is played on three by three squares board. Uh, and the uh, objective of the game is to queen the pawn. So the, the say who queens the pawn uh, actually wins. So this is a completely solved game. And uh, he has the complete implementation for this game uh, with all all the codes uh, walk through. So this, this is going to be, well, I don't know. Uh, I'm really tempted to make a tutorial on this one. Uh, well, first, I just want to get done with the NNU a little bit because just, just, just to make sure that uh, I'm a little bit more confident about that, but then probably I don't know. I think this this sort of a tutorial is is definitely worth of making uh, making a series on it. I'm not sure if I have time uh, if that ever about to happen. But anyway, j just walking through this is absolutely absolutely incredible. You know, so all the service code for the hex zero is available here on the chapter five, uh, and it has. Uh, it has an instructions on how to uh, how to in what order in what order to run all, all of the file, files and um, how actually to, to to deal with it how to work with it. So yeah, um, I think this is it from my side in, in regards to this video. So I'll give you links in the description below. Uh, make sure to have a look at this book and to download and to read through if you're interested in. Neural Networks for Chess. This is it from my side. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, and take care.